Alright. More Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Mission mode slash challenge mode. You guys know the drill at this point. So I think I don't need to make any real adjustments to my panels. Or maybe I do. Because I fought the Ruler of the Sky last time, and I used a lot of fire, as you can see. I think this time we're going to try to face the Leech Grave. And the Leech Grave is going to be super annoying because we aren't really allowed to take damage. And he has a butt-ton of HP and takes forever. So... I don't really need all those treasure magnets. I, I need the extra casts of magic more than anything. So, unequip that. What are the restrictions for that, first off? For restoring the town's heartless... Oh, there are no restrictions. Oh, great. Wonderful. Should I equip the extreme rain? That's summon, because if I'm not really allowed to take damage, the extreme ring just means I can spam limit breaks, which would... Hmm, it's tempting, but I think I'm going to keep Critical Sun equipped for that crit. <laughs> we have a 46% crit chance, which I think is, it's just too good to pass up. However, we don't really need all of these Kuras, necessarily. I'll keep a few, but we don't need a lot of them. We're going to equip... Basically as much fire as we can possibly muster, because fire is extremely effective against those dumb tentacle monsters. And... yeah. I think that's pretty... oh, well, yeah. And double cast fire. We should also equip uh, an elixir or two. This is one fight that we definitely are going to need our elixirs for. Um... I guess I don't really need the backpack, but... Eh. Hey, Proximo, welcome. How close am I to the end of the game? I've beaten the game. I'm just doing bonus stuff. Let's see. I don't really need... Oh, that's haste. Where's the aerial recovery? I don't really need super aerial recovery. I would much rather have all... Actually, yeah, because I'm not planning on getting hit, I don't need aerial recovery. That's good. I'm getting close to the end of challenge mode. There's not a whole lot of sigils left to get. But the ones I have left are all kind of annoying. Alright. Storing the town's heartless. <laughs> Roxas! You don't have to put on the red light. Alright, we got 36 fires, two curas in case of uh, danger, and then we've got elixirs. This is what I want. So the reason we need fires is because of these tentaclaws. Okay, no. We're not getting the critical hits off of them. Oh, come on. Just hit him with the fire. This mission's... I don't think it'll be particularly difficult. It's just going to be so annoying because it takes forever. Because there are like... a a million of these tentaclaw things, and you can't really hit them without fire. Alright. That's the first wave of tentaclaws. <laughs> and we can only get hit, like, a small handful of times, so we really want to avoid doing that if at all possible. Thankfully, there's no time limit. If there was a time limit and we couldn't get hit, that would just be too much. Why did that guy not die? Take out the one on top of the hill. <laughs> And this is why we need the elixirs, because the instant we run out of fire is the instant things get a lot more dangerous. And elixirs give us all of our fire casts back. Nice job, Roxas. Way to get rid of those stupid tentacle enemies. And now, the main attraction. That's not the way we're supposed to go. 
We're supposed to climb on the nearly impossible to see ladder. Over here. And now the level gets extremely annoying. We gotta take out the tentaclaws, but we also have to keep a close eye on the boss. Because the boss can use long range attacks against us. Like so. Were you shooting the grapes at us? The only safe way to do this without taking damage is to continually kill these tentaclaws. They're like Santa Claus, but way worse. There's also a lot of them. We have to wait for the poison gas to dissipate. And now slowly but surely... Take out its HP. We're gonna have to do this a lot. Alright, that's our cue to get out! As you can see, this is just going to take a very long time. Oh no! And yeah, if you don't, if you take your eyes off the main leech grave, he can just snipe you with a grape. It's awful. Of all the things to get sniped with, grapes are not high on my list. Come the grapes. Yes, yeah, so this is just going to take a really long time. It's not necessarily going to be difficult. Dunk! We need you to do some critical hits, Roxas. It's the only way we're getting through this. Alright. His HP is almost halfway down. Almost. I wonder how badly I'm going to be in need of the Extreme Rain. Is that the last of them? No, there's one over here. on it! Stupid tentaclaw. Take that. Thank goodness critical hits do so much damage. That's why I equipped the critical sun. 
All right. If we can just get him down one more time, we should be good. I hate it when the tentaclaws disappear the instant the fire is about to hit them. Nope. That's not the right one to walk on to. Look, it happened again! That is like the fourth time it's happened this cycle. Sixth time. All right. This should finish him. There we go! Yes! Die, you stupid grave. Now we just have to get back without taking any more hits. Hopefully it won't be too bad, because we got the shortcut. Where's the shortcut? We blew up a hole in the wall somewhere. I... You can't fool me. Oh, there's the hole in the wall. Oh my goodness. We even got hit a couple times, but thankfully we were allowed to. Do, 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 do. Back to guillotine gate. And we're outie. Return to the castle! Oh my gosh, we're done with the leech grave forever. Yes! We got, like, no experience for that. Because we're such a high level. Alright, that's that's so wonderful. I love that. Collect hearts in record time. Let's, we can do that. We should equip more, uh, and better magic. Fandaga is great. We need more of it. Nothing wrong with fire, but Fandaga is clearly better. Alright, now we can equip Aerial Recovery again. go, and then the treasure magnet goes back on. We're on the treasure magnet. Probably don't need treasure magnet, but I'm equipping it anyways. Alright. There are two collect heart missions. I think one of them requires us to examine a whole bunch of stuff. And that's the one that I'm not looking forward to doing in record time. He was a skater bomb. They said, see you later, bomb. Thank goodness we have max level glide. We just are obliterating everything. I'm no... The creep worms die in one hit normally anyways, but still. 
Off to the graveyard. Wonder what the time limit for this is. Okay. Oh wow, that's a lot of ghosty boys. That is a lot of ghosty boys. There we go! Mission complete. Oh, maybe maybe one of the missions where you have to search all the places for Heartless, maybe that one is just if you want to fill up the gauge. Or maybe it's just not this one. Okay, that one was really easy. I like that. Ah, yes. Oh no, Shion is sad. I hate that. Three more sigils. Wonderful. Alright, we just have two left. Giant Heartless in record time and collect hearts in record time. This is no attack magic. Enemy level plus 25. Okay, that's fine. Our physical combos are so weak, or so strong, we don't need that. And, oh yeah, Luke Sword is here. Okay, I don't think either of these are the missions where we have to give Zero the bones. Alright, that's one of them. Oh, you made a big mistake! I don't know why these common heartless have so much HP. Hey, it says no attack magic, but Luke Swords are allowed to have his attack magic. It's just Roxas who can't attack magic? Well, regardless, that's mission complete, I suppose. Wow, another easy mission. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Very nice. Okay, we just have one left for Halloween Town. Let's try to just finish it off. Level capped at 60, enemy level plus 13, record time. I think this is the giant carrier ghost, right? I think this is the level where you have to kill, like, 800 ghosts. Unless there's a... Oh yeah, I do have to kill all the Heartless here. Well, this is not off to a very smooth start. Boom. Do, do, do. I just want to beat the boss. I don't want to fight all these common heartless, but I have to. The way to the boss is literally sealed off until you do. For reasons that are definitely not just padding. Man, I can't take the shortcut. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. This isn't. This isn't the giant ghost mission. 
This is the super big ice cube mission, isn't it? Or like, it looks like it's just the super big ice cube, but then there's a bigger one. Sorry, there's so many giant heartless missions in Halloween Town. It's hard to keep track. There we go, at last. The ladder has a bar an invisible barrier around it. Alright. Yeah, so I think it's giant ice cube, yeah. We're like, well that was easy. There we go. And now the now the big heartless appears. Should have brought him on more more fire. Nah, my physical attacks are powerful enough. Maybe. Actually, this might be a close thing. Again, I have no idea how close I am to losing out on one of those sigils. HP's going down real quick. Nice job, Zigbar. You finished him for me. Now, do we have to physically go back to the RTC portal? Yes. Boo. Talk on it, and I still can't... Why does it make it so you can't go for the shortcut? That doesn't even make sense. It's not like the area the shortcut leads to is off limits. That's exactly where you need to go. And there's not even any cutscene in the area that you'd skip. Is this Triple Sigil Halloween Town? Or am I going to lose one? Nope, that should be Triple Sigil Halloween Town. Yes! We finished Halloween Town, and we finished Beast's Castle now. Also, have we finished Wonderland at this point as well? No. That's right, Crimson Pranksters. Oh, that's right, we're really close to finishing Olympus Coliseum. Okay, we'll try the Olympus Coliseum one, but first we're going to equip that Extreme Rain. Ring and get that extra sigil from Olympus. I think I can do this. I lost because the guard armor fight took me off guard. And yes, that was a pun. I didn't know how to fight him. Alright, Phil, let me in. Stop walking onto the barrel! <laughs> never fails. He always walks on the barrel when you don't want him to, and never when you do. 
It's literally a programming talent that they made it that way. Wow! Alright, fine, I see how it is. Guess we're not using the extreme rain. Also, can I redeem those sigils for a prize? Because I think my next prize is a level, level tripler, and I would love that. Yay, level tripler! Wait, there is an Ultima weapon! I was told the Zero Gear is the Ultima weapon, but there's actually a real Ultima weapon. Makes any weapon stronger. Interesting. Oh, I want that. I want that so hard. Alright, we're re-equipping that Critical Sun. Critical Sun is insane. Alright, we'll try this one again, with less dying. I was told that the only Ultima weapon was the Zero Gear. I said I am ready, not I'm not. There we go. I I can take my time with this one if I want to. Shoot, I didn't equip the level tripler. Not that it matters, because this one caps my level anyways. There we go, mission complete. Do do do. Round two. I hate how easy it is for these ghosts to hit you. Because they can literally just teleport on top of you. And there's 800 million of them. When there's like 800 ghosts and they can all teleport right on top of you, there's no way to avoid them. Or they're... Stop hitting barrels into other barrels. That's the worst thing you can do. Nope. I hate this mission. That second round is just unfair. There's like 20 ghosts. And they all are just continually warping right on top of you. And the instant you stop running, they'll they'll smack you. It doesn't help that there's several rounds after the ghosts as well. So if you screw up later... Well... <sighs> Oh, and no attack magic. My level is capped, and I can't use attack magic. That's just great. Very fair. Very fun. Okay. So my initial strategy of running up and trying to hit them with the barrel quickly is not working. <sighs> no matter where you go, they have so much reach with their claws. I challenge anybody to find a way to safely get through this while, like, seriously. There is so much end lag at the end of you hitting these barrels. You can't get a guard off. I did not push attack.
butthead. Stop hitting me. There we go. Mmm. This one's not fun either. Oh, explosive barrel, though. That's good. Oh, that actually went really well. Thank you, Explosive Barrel, for existing. Okay, this one is... We get, just gotta keep the uh, Tail Bunker stunned. Yes, if we can keep the tail bunk around the ground, then... Ooh, ooh. Yes! Stunlock the tail bunker. This is what you need to do. There we go! Nice job, Roxas. Now is it Zigbar? Yes, now it's Zigbar. This is where the fight gets annoying. Oh, pff, never mind, he's dead. <laughs> Thank you, Critical Son. Alright, now... We should hopefully be able to get the rest of it. No, no real problem. This guard armor's not too bad. Especially when you have this high of a critical hit rate. Okay, now he'll split apart. I saw what his hands were doing too late. Lock onto his Dane hands! We just gotta keep his hands and his feet separate. That's why I have air slide level 5. I don't think we can actually kill the guard armor until, yeah, he's at 1 HP. Okay, his feet are harder to get rid of, especially since we do not have access to magic. Alright. We can get in a quick combo when they stop stomping. Oh no, he grew his other foot back. That's not good. You guys were stomping for longer than you normally do. There we go. There! Yes! Things I do for that one extra sigil. But there we go. We are now clear with Olympus. Yes. And for Agrabah, we also just have to place the device really quickly. Which, all as long as we just equip a whole bunch of arrows, that'll be fine. Thanks, OBS, for disconnecting on me. Don't worry, you guys didn't miss anything. I just equipped my panels. I equipped a whole bunch of arrows. Because we're going to plant this device and we have very little time to do so. 
And the enemy at the end is weak to arrow, if memory serves, so... Once we do this, we'll be clear of Agrabah as well. And this one is a very tight time limit. So we have to really quickly go around the room, find all the Heartless, and kill them. Which is easier said than done. Not the magic spell. I wow, this guy's so annoying. You gotta kill this guy really quickly and hope he doesn't warp all the time. Wow. Either that guy doesn't take any damage from arrow magic, or that arrow magic literally went out of its way to miss him. Even while trying to look like it was locking on. We might not do it. <laughs> this is a very tight time limit. Actually, an Aroga. Aroga would probably actually be really good on this course. If I fail, I'm going to equip some Arogas, because Aroga right up close to him would do, I think, insane damage. I don't want to keep launching him in the air. I just want to damage him. Oh, come on. I have to kill all the Heartless? Not just the stupid land armor? It's gonna be tight. I don't think I actually am gonna do it, but... Never know. I think last time I did it, I didn't have that much arrow. We'll just have to s wait and see, fingers crossed. Oh, it's Mickey Mouse making his two second camera yell. Oh no, we did it! Yeehaw! Alright. So we just have Castle That Never Was. Um. Oh, one mission in Neverland, that's it? Oh, we can do this as well. We can eliminate the Artful Flyers. We can do this. We have to collect a lot of heart points, eh? So we just... We gotta chain a lot. Now that we have the zero gear in our, like, level 90, that should be a lot easier to get heart points. Right? <laughs> I would assume it would be a lot easier to get the heart points. Take that air battler. Ah, yeah, this is the way to do it. I can also I also have a lane that lets me get long chains, so I could equip that if I'm struggling to get a lot of heart points. Stop moving away from me.
I know there are tons of Heartless on this course. There we go. Honestly, the hardest part of this mission is just finding all the random Heartless spawns. Thanks, Axel. Mm. Come out, come out wherever you are, random heartless spawns. Not only is this a fairly big map, but you also have to fly, like, at every height to spawn them all. It's, ugh. it's not particularly enjoyable. There we go. The fact that I still haven't gotten a single sigil is not <laughs> filling me with confidence. There we go. That's one of them. One of the artful flyers, not one of the sigils, unfortunately. There you are. Nice job, Axel. Okay, there's our first sigil. But we need more. Chaining these guys together is difficult, because they're spread out and I don't know exactly where everyone spawns. Oh, this has got to be where the last one is. Please tell me there's more. This is where the last stupid of the... Well, we have two sigils. We just need to hope there's another random heartless spawn somewhere. I hate how it constantly resets your position back to where you found it, even though we have plenty of time to fly off <laughs> before that. Oh! Where are you? Please give me the last one! Oh! I need 600 heart points, don't I? 
Again, I gotta hope that there are more heartless spawns somewhere. Is this seriously just gonna devolve into you have to memorize where all of the heartless spawn in? I hope not. But I have a feeling that's exactly what it is. Nope, that's exactly what it is. Alright, we can do this. But we're going to need to have some advanced preparation. For one, we're unequipping a lot of these arrows and replacing them with Fundagas. Second of all, where's the one that has Chain Boost? Or Loam Chain, or whatever it is. Chain Time, that's the one. Chain Time means that we can continue Heart Point Chains for longer, which means more Heart Points, which means easier time to get these sigils. I'm going to go around and take out all the random Heartless spawns before looking at any of the... There we go. Continue the chain. Continue the chain. So he seems like a better plan. I might be wrong, but I think... I think if you examine a box, it immediately ends the chain that you had. Oh yeah, this is much better. Oh yeah, look at that chain that we have going. That's really good. Ooh! Already a lot closer to it, <laughs> the free sigils than before. We've got more than half the points, and we haven't even started examining stuff. Now we can start examining the stuff. These stupid bubble guys out. Very nice. We're at 440. I like that.
There's our first sigil. Alright, we're moving counterclockwise. Do 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 do. about to get second sigil as well. Oh, thank you, Fundaga, for existing. Fundaga is incredibly good. There we go! That's free sigils. Okay, yeah, the key is defeat all of the Heartless Swarms before examining any of the stuff, and then use the Chain Time Ring. Now we just have to find where the last... There he is. There you have it! Yeah, we've flown so far away from that platform and then it's gonna just teleport us back. Boom, 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 boom. Alright! That means we are completely done with all challenge mode for Neverland, Halloween Town, Agrabah, Olympus Coliseum, and um, Beast's Castle. So we just have Twilight Town. World, or Castle That Never Was. We have Twilight Town, Wonderland, and I believe Castle That Never Was. Yep, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And that one we're going to save for last, because that requires us to defeat the Dust Flyer. I think I'll do one more challenge for tonight. And that's going to be, we're going to fight, we're going to do one of the Shion challenges. So first off, we're going to equip our Critical Sun. As our main weapon. And let's see, what kind of... She's largely immune to a lot of magic, I think. Let's equip Fire instead of Arrow, because that, because it's better. Where it's avoid taking damage, and you can get hit a lot in this fight. So, we'll try our hand at it. Let's save first. Alright. Avoid taking damage against Shion. Our level's kept at 60, and she's level plus 15. Shion. All right. Oh, that was a good attack. Actually, now you'll see the power of the Zero Gear. This is a very crazy fight. All right, form one down. Simple enough. Now things get really annoying, because now she spams Ragnarok.
as you can see, Ragnarok is not fun or fair at in the slightest. It immediately kills you, and it hits you 800 billion times, and there's no real way to dodge it. I should have equipped way more Kira's than that. Okay. Eventually they disappear. The problem is if she decides to spam Ragnarok, which she almost always does. And if she spams Ragnarok, then you're just in big trouble and there's nothing you can really do about it. Just get in like two combos every now and then. Oh, you're healing. I would love to be doing more damage than this. This just makes the fight take ages. Much like the Leech Grave. Yeah, see, this is like the only move she's doing now. Stop healing yourself! Yes, please keep doing this move. I'm gonna end up losing the challenge not from taking too many hits, but just from actually dying. She keeps healing herself as soon as she gets down to two bars. Okay, seriously? Anytime she gets down to two bars, she just heals herself two more bars. Alright, well, we gotta do some panel adjustments here. For one, we're equipping way more Kira's than this. Forget fire. Kira's where it's at. And we'll make sure we have some elixirs as well. Alright, we'll try that again. If it takes too long, then we can end. And we can try it again next stream. I would love to get this mission done, though. Don't want to save all the really... All, we don't, we don't want to save all the final bosses for the end. Her first form is really easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hey, Metal Lord! Welcome! Uh, yes, you did miss Backyard Baseball, and we're about to end the stream. We're doing Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. I'm gonna try this last challenge, and I'm gonna end pretty soon. Backyard Baseball usually only happens for the first hour of these Monday-Wednesday streams. Streams for Monday and Wednesday start at 8 p.m. Monday and Wednesday starting at 8 p.m. and they usually don't go later than 10. Oh, come on! That should have absolutely been disappeared by now. This time she's not healing herself at all. Okay, cool. That's her worst form down. And now we have Agrabah's form, which is also annoying, but should be less so. Can we pick her off from a distance? At least this form has the kick butt fight in away music. Yikes, no! I couldn't get out of there fast enough. I'll give it one more go. One more try, and win or lose, we end the stream afterwards. I don't know how I got through her second phase that easily, but if I just don't get hit by that Ragnarok, I'll have my auto life on me, which is going to be useful. Her final form just... She has a lot of HP, but her attacks are very easily choreographed. Why can't all of her phases be this easy? My gosh, yeah, her first form is a cinch. Yeah, it sucks when she just spams Ragnarok. Not only does it lag the game, but it's also like... <laughs> you can't get very much damage on her. No! 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 Oh, great. And OBS decided to be a butt. Because of course it did.
Don't worry, you didn't miss much. You just missed Shion spamming Ragnarok and healing herself like four bars of HP. I don't know how you can stop her from healing herself. I don't think you even can. But the problem is, she always casts Ragnarok before healing herself, so there's absolutely no way you can interrupt it without getting immediately killed by Ragnarok. Oh look! OBS disconnected yet again. I'm sick of OBS disconnecting on me all the time. I hate it. It's actually my internet that just cuts out. It's like, oh no, your computer's doing too much. We immediately cut your internet. It's like, do I have any say in this at all? No, you don't. All right, well, OBS keeps cutting out, so we're really gonna have to end the stream soon, but we beat Shion's second form, so now off to the Agrabah form. She has way less HP in this form, she's just a little more agile. I have no idea how to stop her from healing. No, 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 no! Okay, if she corners you with that, there is absolutely no escaping. Alright, well, we we tried. We made a decent attempt at Shion, but it's not happening tonight. Thanks for joining in, everybody. We are really close to getting to the end of these, these challenges. We mainly just have the final boss gauntlet left. Did we get any more prizes? No, we don't. We still have three more prizes to get. Alright. Well, I gotta end the stream there. Thank you all for joining in. This is a lot of fun. Tune in next time. Um, I believe there will be a stream on Saturday. We'll be doing more Fruit of Grisea. That's always an interesting time. Tune in for that if you want. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.